What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good morning and uh, welcome to an update on Jasmine, uh, a, a bullish update because Jasmine has been very bullish the last few days. Um, not 100% unexpectedly, but we'll talk about that, but uh, in, in all honesty, I, I did not expect us to break above 325. That's what I named the price as, as. this is in reality 0 0.32 cents, uh, but we call it 325, all right? Just so you know, uh, I did not expect us to break above that, uh, just to be honest. Most of you know that uh, if, if, if you watched uh, the previous video. Um, but right now, I mean, Jasmine is just very bullish. We got some nice moves. I have to say that it looks a little bit manipulated. Um, and if we then take a look at, at the volume, a lot of volume coming from BitTrue, which is never something I, I really like. I talked about that last, uh, last week as well. BitTrue is, is, not an, is, is not a shady exchange, but usually uh, when there's a lot of volume from BitTrue, there's some sort of manipulation going on and usually we will fall down then. Um, so that's something I, I, I definitely uh, take into consideration while analyzing. But right now we're still, still very bullish and compared to the market cap, volume is still amazing. Uh, so, so let's keep that spirit. Uh, what you can see, if we take a look at the technicals, and a, a quick recap of what happened is that <clears throat> we started getting bullish momentum right here, the 30th, and then we got into in, into this kind of um, into this kind of formation where <clears throat> if we got a bullish breakout, we could definitely get to 325. Uh, we got a bullish breakout right here, and we were squeezed. And if we broke above that level here at I think 305, I said, then we could get to 325. So that was expected. I, I did not expect us to break through 325. That happened now, and because of that, right now we're stuck between this level right here with the 200 EMA, uh, EMA around 340, and uh, the level we broke, 3, uh, 325. We're stuck in that level, between that resistance level and that support level. So um, our price target should be between 350 and 360. Historically, that's a very strong resistance level. Do I think we can get there? Yes, I do actually think so. But what we are, uh, what we need to do is that uh, we need to hold 325. But because I do expect right now 340, it's too strong. So I expect us to drop down to 325 in this level between 320, 325. If we can then hold that for three days, yes, for three days, that's quite a lot. But I really need to confirm that we have the strength to hold those levels. If that's confirmed, if we can stay on top of it, which we will probably consolidate on top of it, then we can actually get up to, or then we will go up to 360 and 350. But as of right now, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. I think that's that's what you deserve and that's what you uh, that's what you want from me. Uh, at this point of time, I think due to the nature of the moves of Jasmine, I mean it's it's great that the market opened very uh, relatively bullish. That's definitely helping Jasmine. But I think due to the nature of the moves and, and the nature of Jasmine, I mean, I've seen moves like this before. Um, I think it's more likely that we will drop down, that we will hold 320 and 325, but that we will get a bearish breakout and drop back down towards 300. Just given the nature of the move, given the nature of Jasmine in the last months, I think that's the more, more likely scenario. Unfortunately, I mean, I, I really would uh, hope this, and I hope this for, for the entire Jasmine community, and it's it's still possible to be honest. But um, in these analysis, most people want a most likely scenario, and this is my most likely scenario. So if this happens, well, consider me wrong, but uh, I, I still hope that it happens. But um, yeah, that's my take on Jasmine for today. So if you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.